So we got the tractor loaded up. We're leaving the hunting grounds. We're gonna go over to one of our bear hauler ranch properties and uh, create some turkey food plots, specifically to hopefully kill some turkeys out of here pretty soon. So hang tight, we're gonna show you beginning to end everything that we're doing out there. Alright guys, so we made it out here. This is going to be kind of the turkey grounds uh, for this upcoming spring. We're out here in the middle of this large timber. This is an area that I'd come in, I scouted this last year after deer season, which is disappointing because it would have been a great spot to deer hunt for sure, but it looks like an old landing site when they logged in here. There's, it's an area that's pretty clear. We're going to be able to get probably at least over a quarter acre kind of cleared out in here. We're going to get in and literally just start pushing. We're going to push all the leaves and uh, the limbs and stuff off and underneath, let me, here we go, Under, underneath you've already got this really rich organic dirt up there on the top where these leaves have just been in here and decomposing for a long time so we got really good soil in here on top we're going to get in with what we've got we got uh, some white clover and some red clover and we're going to scatter it and even with the canopy right now there's enough sunlight in the spring because they have not put on their the foliage yet that it's going to penetrate and we're going to get a nice green plot the turkeys we've seen a lot of turkey scratches in here coming in here and it's going to green up and they're going to be in here probably tomorrow or the next day just with this fresh dirt in here so we've got to get in here push out a lot of these saplings got a lot of sassafras and a lot of these invasive young species that uh, we're going to get in here and push them out and clear them out and get this thing built up and ready to go then we're going to move on to some of the logging roads um, that are pretty wide in some of these areas they're you know 10 yards wide, sometimes closer to 15 yards wide. We might clear out some of those as we come in uh, and out of here and um, just try to promote some native grasses and stuff growing in them. And then we might spread some clover on top of those as well to have a nice logging road that those turkeys can work down and then come in this food plot and it's gonna do the exact same thing come this deer season. this food plot so far. I've actually got Colby right now. You can see him back here in the background. He's got the leaf blower and he's blowing out some of these patches of leaves that we just weren't able to push out. I didn't want to push out too much that I was taking too much dirt with it and so we've got that because the thing that we're trying to do is get good soil and seed contact with this clover seed. So even if these leaves are on here as long as they're blown up and they're kind of fluffed up when we throw the seed out as you can tell it's starting to rain right now that rain's going to be able to penetrated down into the soil and we're going to get some good germination so we still got a little bit more to do it's looking really good so far we still got to do the roads going in and out and we want to show you guys that got rid of mostly saplings as you guys saw that was pretty thick with saplings in here we've got uh, one little walnut tree right there in the middle that we got to come um, go ahead and just knock down with the chainsaw we're going to clean some of these little bitty pieces up with the chainsaw and then we're going to be able to see this it's actually looking really really good it's a little bit bigger than I was expecting guaranteed the deer and the turkeys are both going to be utilizing this so um, after we get it all seeded and, and put up we're going to put one of our spy point link cameras out here because this is way out here on one of these properties and I don't want to have to come out here to check these spy point cameras to see if the turkeys are using this food plot I just wanted to send to my phone and uh, do it the most simple and easy and cost-effective way. So it's starting to rain pretty good. We got more work to do, so here we go.
All right, so this is Spy Point's Link S that we've got out here, meaning that it's the solar version. We've had this sitting out on this logging road all deer season. It's continued to throw me pictures right to my cell phone. So went ahead and put new batteries in it because I do like to have batteries in these with the solar just in case I'm getting a lot of nighttime photos. And this is so far out here, I don't want a reason to have to come check it. We've got the blind back here behind us, and we've got turkey scratchings within five to 10 yards of this blind all around here. So getting this thing set back up, we have come in and we've pushed out this logging road. We just kind of taken the top junk and scraped it right off the top of this road and we come through with some clover. So I know it's gonna be greening up. It's a great transition area for turkeys. They like walking this logging road, going out to the power lines. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this set up. It's already connected. I have two bars of LTE right here and get this thing closed down and get it ready to send some photos to my phone. All right guys, we're gonna wrap up this episode. Came out here to this 300 acre-ish uh, area. It's extremely steep with these hillsides, um, but I think we really improved it. I think we are going to have some turkeys killed right here and some of these turkey kill plots. So it's the reason we're planting them right now and getting them designed. I can guarantee the turkeys are gonna be in here with the next two days scratching around and they're gonna pattern in here hopefully pretty well. We don't have a lot of turkeys in this area, so anything we can do to better our chances of getting one in range is going uh, to be an improvement. So uh, overall, this looks great. A deer are gonna benefit from it. Turkeys are gonna benefit from it. We're gonna uh, have some awesome hunts this year from right here in this area, so stay tuned in. We'll keep you guys updated what we're gonna be getting on our Spy Point trail camera in this area, and we are soaked. Colby and I are officially soaked down to the bone. The only thing I know that's dry on me is my feet. So dry shots kept me warm and dry. So anyway, guys, make sure you guys comment down below, give a big thumbs up, make sure you go and subscribe, and until next time, have a better than average day. Don't you